is Gordon Brewer from the Practice of Therapy. And a big thanks to you for purchasing the Session Note Helper, particularly this new version, the 2.5 version of the Session Note Helper. And I'm really excited about this version because it's much more secure and uh, we've now been able to make it fully HIPAA compliant. So um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to set things up and just some other information you didn't need to know about the Session Note Helper. and um, get you started here. I know for me, being able to see it on screen and having somebody walk me through it um, just makes it a little easier. So first of all, what I want to mention to you is be sure that you have a Google account. The other thing that I want you to make sure that you're doing for this to work the best that it can is to operate this in a Google in Google Chrome as your browser. Obviously, Google Chrome is, um, is made for Google, and so it just works better in that browser from what, we, from what I've experimented with. So using Google Chrome, you also, as I mentioned already, need to have a Google account. Now, one of the things I'll mention about your Google accounts, um, depending on how you're, you're operating, it might be that you're use, just using a free Google account. A bit of caution about the free account is that it's not fully HIPAA compliant using the free version. Now, HIPAA requirements may or may not apply to you depending on if you're, you're accepting insurance or not. Again, a whole lot of stuff to go into around HIPAA, but I won't go into it in this video. But in order for it to be fully HIPAA compliant, you will need to get the paid version of Google G Suite. Now, it's a good investment anyway, and I really recommend that you take the time to, to do that and invest in that. It's only $6 a month per user for the basic version and $12 a month uh, per user for the business version. Uh, there's a link on the startup guide so that you can get, uh, that'll take you directly to the page where you can get those. The other thing about using the the paid version is that you get to use your own URL on your emails. Uh, again, whole other topic here, not going to go into the detail of that. But again, I would encourage you to use the paid version of Google G Suite in order to make this fully HIPAA compliant. So let's jump into the tutorial here and I'll walk you through the steps to get you set up and start using the Session Note Helper. Now, when you made the purchase through Gumroad, you should have received an email with the download here. And this is the quick start guide. And what I would recommend is that you open, go ahead and open up and sign into your Google account. And then you'll open this, this Google Doc here, which is the se Session Note Helper quick start guide. And it contains all the links that you'll need to get copies, your master copies of the session note form and the session note Google Doc, which are what work together to make, uh, make the session note helper work. So um, first thing I want you to do is go in, log in to your Google account. And if you're in Google Chrome and you go to, go to just go to Google, you can log in and make sure that you're logged into your account. Um, what you'll want to do next is go into your Google Drive. And if you're not sure where that is, I'll show you here real quickly. If you go to google.com and you're logged in, you should be able to click on these little dots over here. And there's your Google Drive and just click on that. But what I want you to do first is just open your Google Drive and you'll probably open it to just the, your, your root directory, which is the main Google Drive. And I want you to create two folders. And to create folders, you go to new and then just click on folder here. Now I've already done this on, in my drive here and I've just named, I created two folders. I've created two folders here. I've created the Session Note Helper 2.5. And then within that folder, I created Session Notes. Um, and you could label this whatever you want to label it. But what I did is I created the Session Note Helper file, just again, going to file, folder, create new, and then inside that folder, I created a, 
another folder. So create those two folders and that'll make things work well together. The next thing I want you to do is go back to your quick start guide and you'll open this up. And then I want you to just click on these first on the master copy of the Google form. And when you do that, if you'll just click on this link here, it'll bring up this page and it'll prompt you to make a copy. Now, when you do that, what will happen, I'll go ahead and show you here, is it will bring up your session note helper master copy. Now, what I want you to do now is make a copy of this copy. And to do that, you go over here to these three dots. To do that, you just go over here to these three dots where it says more and just click make copy. Now, again, I've already done this, so there's already a copy there. Then I want you to do uh, the same thing. I want you to um, go into the Google Docs here and get a copy of it. And again, I'm not going to click on this, but the same thing will happen. And when you get the copy, I want you to make a copy of the copy. And in Google Docs, you can just simply, in Google Docs, you can just simply click on file and then make copy. So now you've got two copies in your Google Drive. The next thing I want you to do is move those two copies into your session note helper folder. And there's two ways you can do that. One is you can just drag and drop, or you can left a right click on the copies and go down to move to. But what you so once you have everything in here, as you can see, I've made copies of my copies. I've got my session notes here. I'm going to take, and the, the other thing I'll say here is you want to protect your master copy. Again, that's why I say make a copy of it. Uh, make a copy of your copy. Protect your master copy. And the reason for that is, is that you've got the codes and stuff that are preloaded in there. You don't want to mess with the codes because that could make things not work like they're supposed to. So what you want to do, and I've already done this, is I've made a copy of the master copy of the Session Note Helper 2.5, and I'm going to double click on that. And once you, once you double click on it, just make sure it's fully loaded, and you'll know by the little circle will stop up here. One thing about this is it might take a little time to load because of the app scripts in the background and also depending on your internet speed. Um, but after you get this loaded, after you've got it up here, the next thing you need to do is go to add-ons. And you'll scroll, to, scroll down here and there will be an add-on here called Session Note. And then just click on that. And what this will do is walk you through the setup here. And so next you click on Setup. And it's going to ask for authorization. And this is just giving um, your Google account or giving permission for this to access your Google account. It won't do anything to your account. It just gives it, gives it permission. And Google does this just, to, just as a safety measure to make sure people aren't getting um, unauthorized stuff on their, on their computer or in their Google account. So just click Continue. And then you'll pick the account that you're using. And then you'll see this session note, want, session note wants to access your Google account. Again, this is just giving the script that's working on the back end permission to operate these different parts of your, of your Google account. And you'll click Allow. And so next, what you want to do is pick the, um, the Google Doc template. Again, pick the copy of the copy, the one that you made a copy of, and you'll click on that and select it. And this is just telling the form which template to use. And then you want to pick the destination folder. Again, I made another folder called Session Notes, and that's where all of the notes that I create are going to be housed um, in, until I move them or do something with them. So we select that. 
And then what it will do here is ask you to enter the name format. Now the default is just the name of the client and the date of the session. If you want to change that, what you need to do is just change this to something that matches the format. I'm not going to change it here and I probably recommend that you not, but in the, the, in the, in the tutorial that you can get on how to customize all this, I'll explain this in more detail, but for now, I'll just leave it blank. And what will happen is, is when it creates the Google doc, it will be the name of your client plus the date of the session. And then it's going to ask if you want to save it as a PDF. Again, I would suggest maybe to start out with just to select no, because uh, if it saves it as a PDF, you won't be able to edit the, the output document. Um, you can convert it to PDF later. Uh, but again, this is just an option that you can use here. If you're pretty, once you get used to using this, you can change this over but I'm going to click no here and it says your session note is set up and ready. So click OK. All right, so that's the setup. That's the most time you're going to have to spend on this. Once you've got it set up, you don't have to do this again. Now, this is the working copy or the back end copy. This is not where you're going to start making your session notes. So the next thing we want to do is after we've got all this set up, you want to go over here to send and just click on send and then you'll go over here to this link button and what you want to do is copy this link. And so just copy that. And then one, two things you can do with this is one is uh, what I would do is uh, uh, suggest that you just take this copy and I'm just going to show you here, I'm using a Windows system, but I'm going to paste, um, paste it on, the, on my desktop. And I'm going to create a new shortcut here. And it's going to ask me that. And then I'm just going to paste the URL there into this. Now, I'm not sure exactly how it does this on Apple, but I'm sure it's pretty similar. So again, what I did is just right clicked on the desktop. And I'm going to click next and I'm going to say session note helper 2.5 and click finish. Now what that does is just creates a direct button so that I can access the form when I want to make a session note. So let's go ahead and do that. The other thing that you can do, let me go back here. The other thing that you can do is just take this, um, take this, take this URL here and put it into your browser. Just click it there and that will bring up your working form. And then you can just bookmark or save this particular page to come back to later. So, all right, now that you've got your your working copy, this is where you're going to actually create your notes. You can just start using it. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and then show you what happens when we submit it. Okay, now that I've completed the session note, which only took me about um, three minutes, I kind of fa fast forwarded it here, two, two or three minutes to complete all this just by going through and checking off what I did in this hypothetical situation. I'm going to click submit. And the great thing about the Google Forms here is that if you're working on several different session notes, you can do another one. So you just submit another. Then once, once the session note has been uh, submitted, you should be able to go into your folder here and it might take it a minute to refresh here, but there's my note. And as you can see, it's completely filled out with all the, all the things that I have put on the, um, put in there. Now what in, in here, in this note, one of the things that I can do is I can go in and edit this now. 
just like I would in a regular Google Doc. So like, for, you know, if there's some misspellings or things like that or double information that's been put in here, we can check, we can correct that. The other thing that you can do is if you're using a um, electronic health records uh, system like Therapy Notes, which is what I use, you can actually take this information and just copy it and paste it into your electronic health record system. Again, I use Therapy Notes, which is the one that I recommend. There are others as well, Simple Practice, Therapy Appointment, all, you know, there. Theranotes, all of those kinds of things are electronic health record systems. But again, I use therapy notes for mine. One thing you might want to do on your copy of your master copy is to go ahead and, and update this with your practice information if, uh, if you choose to do that. Now, one of the things I will say is if you edit this form at all, be careful not to change any of these things that are in the double, the double arrow or the double, the, the greater than, less than signs between those. Those are markers that have to be on here for the Google form to know what to put in these, in these different locations here. So um, keep those in place. And in the, in the tutorials that I do on showing you how to customize this, I can show you how to change these so that they correspond with your form. But that's in an, another lesson that um, is on the Session Note Helper tutorial page. Well, folks, I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and getting you set up with using the Session Note Helper. I apologize that there's a few setups here, but one of the things that's great about this is being able to customize it later. And uh, if you'll watch the other tutorials where I go into detail about the about how you can customize this specifically to your practice and to your needs as a therapist or counselor, um, be sure to watch those tutorials. Again, if you need to have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Gordon at practiceoftherapy.com and I'll help uh, hopefully be able to walk you through any troubleshooting that you might have. Again, thanks for watching this tutorial and thanks again for getting the session note helper.